this evening begins the season of Lent. It's the 40 days of the church year when we intentionally reorient ourselves so that we face the cross. And this is what matters. And we make our journey with Jesus as he moves ever closer to the death he did not deserve. The other day I was praying about what to preach on this evening, and I thought of this as we receive the ashes on the head later. I will say to you, remember, O man, that thou art dust, and to dust thou shalt return. Uh, I was thinking about what it means to remember where we came from and that place where we're all destined to return, and how about our lives is... Uh, how our lives are transformed not only by those works but by what Jesus did for us on the cross, his resurrection from the grave and his ascension back into heaven. But the fact that because of Jesus' act of self-sacrifice, we have received redemption and salvation from the grave. That's an awesome thing to contemplate. If you spent the next 40 days thinking on that, you couldn't go wrong. This Lenten season, we need to focus on how we as broken and sinful people are restored to life by the one who came to us without sin. Uh, how we are restored to life by the one who came to this earth for the sole purpose of saving us all. And how we as uh, restored people, uh, we need to know that God, who loves us more than we could ever imagine, is with us always. This evening in our first reading from Joel, we heard the Lord tell us to return to him with all our heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. To return to the Lord our God because he is gracious and merciful and slow to anger, abounding in steadfast love. How wonderful is our God. How great is he to those of us who have turned our face from him and know what it's like to live without him. To those of us who sin against him time after time. Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, calls us to be reconciled or harmonized with God, knowing full well that as servants of God, we will have hardships along the way. Uh, there's no escaping it. And yet, when all is said and done, we will still possess everything because of what Jesus has done for us. It is God's saving power, which is at work through the Holy Spirit, that empowers us to press on in our sincerity, our wisdom, our patience, our truthfulness, our generosity. Those are what our right relationships with God reflects. This is what the Lenten season is about. During the next 40 days, we will focus our attention on and remember that Jesus, the one without sin, bore it all. So we didn't have to. Jesus has come to save us so we can become the righteousness of God. God says He only accepts holy because He is holy. And the only way we can be holy is through Jesus. Such righteousness and salvation is not only fixed toward one point we can look to in the future, but is evident in our lives today. We know we've been saved. But this does not come without exertion. Now, those of you who thought, well, I'm saved now, woohoo, I'm free. <laughs> I can go party now. Well, tonight is just the beginning of the journey. That's all. I pray that as we make our Lenten journey, we'll remember the words that thou art dust, and to dust thou shalt return. Uh, humbling words, to be sure. I, I pray also that we will reimagine our walk with Jesus, that what we will reflect upon is our relationship with him, that we will rethink what it means to be a child of God. I pray that we will reconnect with the God who loves us so much that he sent his one and only son. Lent is the time when we stop and strip away all of the frills and get at the basics of what it means to be a Christian. In this season, we are called to rediscover who we are as God's people, to focus our, fa uh, to focus our face toward our fears and failures with courage and dignity. It is the same cross that we face that is placed on our foreheads tonight in baptism. Lynn is the time for acknowledging that we what we do find in ourselves in the dust sometimes but during uh, now that didn't make any sense at all and I wrote this Lent is a time for acknowledging that we do find ourselves in the dust sometimes but during this season let us be reminded of the promise of God's relationship with each of us Lent is a gift from God we see this as giving up something as a hardship for us like chocolate or beer 
But Lent is a time to consider ourselves in our link with God, not with outward displays, but quiet and private, knowing that we are held by a loving God who can even reach down into the dust to meet us. May God bless you as you begin your Lenten journey tonight and be with you all through 40 days of Lent until we reach Holy Week and we look forward to His glorious resurrection. Amen. Please come forward for the imposition of ashes.